So when adding texture to one of your models, you need to do a couple things. First, you need to actually assign the material to your um, piece. Um, you probably also want to make sure that now that you have a finished piece that you actually go in and subdivide a couple times to make your piece as smooth as possible. So the painting actually and the texturing looks as nice as possible. So I just went over here under geometry and divided it and you can see it jumped to 130,000 um, active points, total points. Um, so now we're going to add a material. This is just kind of the default material. It's not actually on the um, model itself. And so I'm first going to go into the material channel. Okay. Remove the Z add. And now I'm going to go over to my materials and pick a material. Okay. Whatever that material is, um, I'll make this really bright so you can kind of see what's going on. So here it is a reflective red. Now it's still not on the actual object yet. So the next thing we have to do is go to color and fill the object. Okay. And if you look in your sub tool, it's now red. It's now that material. Okay. Close that up. Um, so now we can actually do some poly painting as well. So if I go to my RGB channel, right, I can click on a color and let's make it bright so we can actually see it. Okay. So here's a green, um, you can change your stroke. Um, I like color spray if I'm building up layers and layers of texture. Um, you can even change the alpha a little bit to like 07 or 08, makes it look just maybe a little bit more organic. And then you can see that you can spray it on, right? And so now I'm just painting. So one thing to remember with poly painting um, is that you can also mask so if I hit control, I can mask out an area that will not be affected by that poly paint. So you can see it goes all the way around it. And then I can actually change the color. Let's find another bright color. And I can come back in and I can build up this texture. I can change the size of my brushes. I can go back to um, dots and get rid of the alpha and just paint directly on. And you'll notice that these colors interact with the material. Okay. So it's not always, not always exactly the way, depending on the material, the way that you think it's going to look. Um, so whatever your base material is. So here, let's go back into material. Start with a base material in which you can um, manipulate. So color, fill object. So now you can see that base material is white. And so you can see some of these other colors that I was painting on here. Okay, so once it's on there, then I can go back to RGB and I can paint again. And you have to do that for every single object that you do. Um, remove the mask, hit control, drag out here, just like everywhere else. And now we're painting. Cool. And that's how you add texture and add um, some poly painting to whatever your object is. Now, so if you have multiple sub tools, you got to assign a material to each sub tool. Okay. Got to assign a material to each sub tool. Okay. That's all you need.